Great. So one of the really cool things about P5.js is that we can create sketches in the browser, share them with people. They can run them in their own browser on their own device. But sometimes we may want to be able to export images, um, save them so that we can share them on social media or text it to a friend or just have it for other purposes. Um, and P5.js makes this really easy. Um, now, there's one downside here, which is um, it may not work great for you in the web editor. So um, there's a kind of a caveat here. Um, I've been running this demo and not having great success in the editor. So you might have some problems. In a little while, we'll talk about how to write P5.js sketches not in the editor, but locally on your computer and run them. And that's what's happening here. Um, but I've included the example code in case you wanted to be able to save your one of your images from your project. Um, so this is the result of a P5.js sketch. It's running in the, in the browser. Um, and when I run this, I'll show you the code in a second. But when I run this, it creates this white circle.png file that gets saved to my computer. Um, which is awesome. Sometimes it's going to open a dialog depending on your browser and ask you to save it. Sometimes it's going to run it here. So let's take a look at the code. Um, we're not going to type this one out together because it's not that exciting. Um, it's just a basic structure. We'll come back to the snow loop in a second. And in our draw, I'm just drawing a black background and a white circle. But this save command is really what does all the work. So save um, handles a bunch of complicated stuff in the background for you that enables you to save your sketch. Um, I believe JPEG and PNG are the only file formats supported right now. Um, we'll talk more about the Java, the like um, other parent version of processing that P5.js comes from. Um, one of the benefits of working with um, that rather than P5.js and JavaScript is you can save GIFs, you can save PDFs, SVG files, all these other kinds of formats that um, P5.js just doesn't support. Um, but yeah, so all we need to do here is specify as an argument the file name and um, include the file extension here. So I'm doing white circle.png. And then after um, it's done with these drawing commands, normally you would put this at the end of the draw because it's going to save it whenever, um, you know, in the same way that like your drawing commands are all in order, this is going to happen um, in the point in your sketch that you've listed it. If I had drawing commands later, it would um, not have those in the image. And that's it. It's really easy. We do need to add one other thing, though. Um, because our um, draw is a loop, it's going over and over. Right now, we've been making static images, so we're not seeing that. But later, when we do animation, that'll be obvious. Um, but imagine in that loop that we've called save. Well, then approximately 30 to 60 times a second, it's trying to save an image, and it's, it's going to bog down and freak out. So up in the setup here, I include this no loop command. And what that does is it tells the draw function, run once, just like setup, and then stop, and just display whatever's on the screen. So with save, you always want to include the no loop. Otherwise, you're going to have some problems. Um, and that's it. It's really easy. Um, it'll download it or prompt you to save it. And um, this is a really great way. So you might find, depending on what browser you, you're using, it may or may not work well for you. Um, you know, running it in the editor here, but I just wanted to show you early on ways that you can um, save those images if you wanted to. Um, yeah, so you'll see it run like this, it'll save, and that's it, super easy.